Thinking back to when my failure seemed for sure next And they told me that my dreams were too far-fetched Now it's how much more focus is he gon' get I'm on my fourth set, they ain't even lift the bar yet What's good YouTube and Facebook and now Instagram You know who it is Show Tizzy from the BX Busy And this is Show Knows Fitness man Check this out, I'm about to do a review on protein pancakes Now, usually I buy the, pro, uh, the P28 protein pancake But for some reason the NutriShock doesn't have it It hasn't had it for a couple months So I was out of pancakes, I was just buying their pancakes that they made as meals After a while that shit get pretty pricey Look, we in this pandemic And, you know, I can't afford that every day I mean, I'm saying right now, so I decided to go with another pancake mix, the Metarex. So I looked on YouTube and I seen different reviews, but these are like from three, five, three and five years ago. So there are no up to date reviews. So right now I'm going to do a review for you guys um, and take and give the taste test and tell you if it's what are my opinion on it. So without any further, oh, before we get into the video, I'm going to need you guys to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and the notification. So every time that I do a video, you'll be notified and you can check it out, man. You wanted me to flood the flood the flood the web with material and content. Well, here you go, man. Show knows fitness, man. Then let's get into the video. Let's get it. Okay, so first things first, let's take a look at the product. So we have Metarex. High protein pancake mix. Now on the cover it says 18 grams of protein, as much as five egg whites. Quick and easy, just add water. I don't know if y'all can see that. Then it says good source of fiber. All right, cool. Let's look at the the, mac, the macros. So it has 2.5 grams total fat. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that. Sodium is 570 milligrams, which is kind of moderate. Um, 29 grams of carbs Followed by Hold on, let me get it focused for you guys Followed by 12 grams of protein You know, that's not really too bad You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't, you know, pig out on that You know what I'm saying? Because even though the macros are good I don't like the sodium on that You know what I'm saying? It's kind of moderate So you can easily, if you get up if you want to, you know, pig out on that and get, you know, two servings, you could easily, you know, be in a thousand, the thousand milligrams of sodium. And, you know, you're only supposed to have, you know, 2,500 milligrams of sodium a day. So I would kind of watch that. But we're going to get into the actual ingredients. Even though it says to use water, not using water. I'm going to use almond milk. Why? Because I want a better texture. You know, a lot of, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the times, the texture of these protein powders, of these protein um, pancake mixes, be gummy. It's because you're putting the water in there. You know what I'm saying? You put the almond milk in there. It's gonna give a little more flavor, and the texture is gonna be better because it's the the, uh, the liquid is actually thicker. So it's gonna give you. It's gonna produce better texture. In the mix so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you know I'm gonna open this up I'm gonna weigh it out just for the video purposes of it I'm not gonna eyeball it because I want to be accurate um, I'm also going to use pan spray even though I said pancakes I'm gonna do waffles why because it's faster and you can't put a price on convenience it's easy to clean I don't want to be cleaning a lot of pans and all the other shit I'm not doing that so I'm going to put the pan spray on here and, you know, so it won't stick. So let me set all that up. 57 right. grams. All right. So let's say two tubes, 57 grams. Okay, that's already 41 grams. That was a heaping scoop. Let's see what one more scoop would do. Okay, 74. So we already know that you don't take heaping scoops of this product. Yeah, so now it says you add one third of a cup of water. 
but we're not going to do that. We're going to add almond milk. Now, for those that don't know what a one third of a cup of water is or fluid, you didn't, you wasn't paying attention in school. That's about two and a half ounces. So we're going to do it right here. A little more. That is one third cup of water. Yeah, so, you know, I want to show y'all a little something. So, a, a lot of y'all never cooked before, so you might not know this, but when you're making pancakes, look at this. It's too thick. I have to add a little more um, almond milk in here just to make it a little thin, thinner. Stretch it out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all that know what stretching it out means, y'all from the street. <laughs> but I gotta make it stretch a little more. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna add maybe an ounce more, ounce and a half more of almond milk and watch how it looks better. So I just wanted to show y'all, side note, how it would look if you didn't have enough water and bullshit looking pancakes. You see how this, this is how it would look if you didn't have enough water or, or almond milk in it, it would look like this. Lumpy and broken up and all other shit. Right? So it's stuck on there. Now look at this shit that's whipped right. This is whipped right. You know what I'm saying? It's not sticking on. There's no lumps. It's nothing else. So if your shit look like this, then more than likely you do not have enough water. And, you know, is this shit looking lumpy? You don't have enough water or you put too much PB powder in there with not enough water? You got to have the right mix. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, that texture, I know if I put that shit in here, that's going to be disgusting. It's not going to, you're not going to want it. It's going to come out fucked up. Now, I mean, here, it's, you know, it's whipped right. It's smooth. I can pick it up. It drip. It's going to be good. So, I just wanted to, you know... Show you the comparison of, of um, how how the batter would look if it was if it wasn't whipped right, not enough water, or almond milk. If you want to follow my you know recipe, compared to when it is measured right, with the right measurements of almond milk or, or water, how it should look. Batter don't come out like this because you use water. They go exactly how the um the directions tell you on the. On the product, but that's just the generic suggestion. You have to use, you gotta, you have to improvise for you and what you like and what you taste. Don't be a robot. You know what I'm saying? You know what you like. They're just giving you a base on how to make it. But if you like it, but if you like it a certain way, then do it a certain way. You know what I'm saying? If you want to add fruit, you know what I mean? Add the fruit that you like, but be mindful that this is a healthy meal. So you want to add fruit with less sugar, less carbs. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind as well. All right, so now we got the we got the waffle high and all hot and ready to go. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna spray it with Pam spray. I'm gonna spray the bottom, spray the top. That's to not get it to stick. And you have a big mess when you um when you're trying to clean it, and you're, or you're trying to take the um the pan this waffles out of the out of the waffle iron. It's not gonna stick and break off. We're gonna have good waffles. So now, just whipped it a little bit more. Now we're gonna pour it in here. I'm gonna try to pour it on each individual one. It does matter because you don't wanna pour it in the middle and it doesn't get to every section. You want full waffles. I don't know about y'all, but. You know, when I pay for something, I want to get exactly what the fuck I paid for. Let's see? Get all that shit in there. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Close it. Lock it. Flip it. Oh, shit. Now 
And we're gonna keep that rolling. We're gonna keep that shit rolling. Fuck it. Flip it. <laughs> and keep it right there, man. We're gonna keep that shit rolling. So we're gonna flip it. Flip that shit around. That shit golden brown. Like my skin. Golden brown. Now we're gonna take a fork. We're gonna take a fork. And we're gonna put it on a plate. That shit on a plate. Remember that shit had dropped in the water, but that shit don't matter. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep rolling it. And whatever. So this is how the product should look. So we're gonna taste it. I'm gonna use the carry sugar-free syrup. This is the best sugar-free syrup to me. I taste it a lot, but carries is what I use. So I'm gonna put it on one. And we're gonna taste it right now. Hold on. <laughs> that shit good as fuck, man. That shit rated GAF, good as fuck. Now, when I bite it, when I bite it, it doesn't taste like an Eggo waffle, no. It don't taste like that, but it's not gooey because I use the milk. The milk is going to bring the texture. It's not like you, you know, when you, when you use water in certain uh, these products, it's going to taste like a cardboard box. You know what I'm saying? You don't want it to taste like that. In this bodybuilding lifestyle, you want, you want food that's actually good so you can continue eating it. I mean, it's easy. It's easy to eat fucking bad. You know what I'm saying? But you want to, you want to convince your mind to eat good. It does have a little aftertaste. I guess that's from, you know... The, 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 the protein that's in it The whey protein that's in it But for the most part This shit is good You know what I'm saying This is a good This is a good um Good waffle Mix right here Pancake waffle mix Whatever It's a good I would buy it again I would say, I would recommend this to anybody Um It does taste better than You know P28 And The Kodak The bed joints It tastes better than that Cause I had those waffles too the ones that come in the um the freezer pack, like from the store, it tastes better than that. So, you know, I would definitely recommend you buy this product right here. Um, I would definitely recommend that you buy it. So that's my review on you know, the waffles. I, you know, I appreciate you guys stopping by. You know, listen to my opinion on it. You know, hopefully you guys take the same. Steps that I took, you know, as far as the ingredients, and y'all can taste for yourself, man. Remember, drop me if you guys make it the way I'd make it. T uh, tag me on Instagram. Um, you know, you should have my Instagram already. If you don't have my Instagram, it's Show Knows Fitness on Instagram. Tag me in it, man. You know, let me know. Let me know if y'all like it, whatever. Um, I got more videos to come. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so just be just be ready, man. I said, I gosh, I know it's the pandemic's outside and all that other shit, but I'm still going to give y'all content, man, so just stay tuned. You know, I'm your boy, Show Knows Fitness. Like, share, subscribe, holla back at your boy. Cheer!